Hello guys and welcome back to Rust. Now as you can see it's another lovely day on the Happy Naked server and we've got an update to cover. So this update has changed the research system and how it works and the first change is that they've added these blueprint fragments. Now these can be used to either give you the lower tier uh, blueprints as, as their basic form or you can upgrade these to create higher blueprint yielding items. So. You can make 60 blueprint fragments into a page. Uh, you can make five pages into a book and four books into a library. With well, the libraries obviously having the highest tier items such as the armor and weapons. Now, in total, to get one of these libraries, it will cost you 1,200 uh, blueprint fragments, which can be found at the airfield, you know, in um, barrels and the loot crates. So if we look at each one, as you can see, you get the high quality stuff from the libraries such as face masks from the medium ones you get the higher tier stuff but not quite the top so arm um c4 pickaxes tools that sort of general stuff from the medium ones you get stuff like the refinery and the lowest tier you get like the medical injectors and the barricades the next change that they have done is with the leather now the leather is a lot more important in game and it can be used to make the hide stuff it's also needed for the higher tier armor. So if we if we make ourselves a poncho, I can show off something else. As you can see here, we've got the values for all of these things on the armor here. So we can see what each one does. Although I don't know if these correspond exactly to what they will give you, as some of them seem off a little bit. And the last change that I can show from the inventory screen is the change item skin. So as you can see here, I've got a long sleeve t-shirt, but I've also got several different um, skins of these. So instead of having a big long list of loads of different things, what we can do is just click the change skin here and then choose exa exactly which one we want. So I want the grey the gray long sleeve shirt because I think it looks pretty cool. But yeah, that's a pretty useful uh, little change for making it a lot easier to navigate your recipes. So this next change isn't huge, but it's pretty useful for new players. They've decided to add different items in different locations, such as research benches on the airfield in one of the hangars. It's the middle one. Uh, they've added oil refineries to the warehouse at the airfield and a quarry at the standalone warehouse which can spawn anywhere on the map. Now this isn't a huge change to the game as I said but it's pretty useful for new players to get you know some basic early gear and uh, make a nice start. The next change is to do with the sphere that is in game. So as you can see it has changed completely since the last you know, last version of it. So if we just go ahead and look inside, it now spawns an awful lot more uh, loot inside of it, you know, uh, lots more of the research fragments and stuff like this. And it's also got some very ominous sounding noises inside. So if we, uh, if we just fly up here, you can see that there's lots of like little ledges and places where you can sit and hide. And if you can get up high enough, you can, you know, camp this area out and wait for people to come. It takes very long to get up top and it's very risky. Uh, it takes like two minutes to run and jump your way all the way up to the top, but overall it's pretty, pretty damn well worth it. As you can see, it spawns lots of these boxes which have lots of uh, lots of loot inside. But yeah, so as you can see, this is a pretty cool change. Although you can't build near it, it's also got a uh, refinery in that little shed there. So yeah. And the last major change in this patch is done to the recoil of the AK. I'll show you this just by firing it. So as you can see, it's an awful lot more, uh, you know, drastic now and it requires an awful lot more compensation which makes it a lot harder just to spray people down. You can still burst fire, but it's, it's not as accurate due to this huge recoil. I think it's a little bit over the top personally. It's just like you shoot a few shots and, you know, you're massively in the air. It's, just, it's a, little bit, a little bit too much, if you ask me. Alright guys, that sums up all the major stuff in this update. If you liked the video, Make sure you leave a like, favourite and comment below and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, goodbye.